All right, we're far removed for summer, but that doesn't mean we can't really enjoy a frozen treat, right? But since we're cooped up inside, it might be a good idea to go with something healthier than the typical ice cream. Okay, we heard that there's this vegetable version of ice cream. I know what you're thinking, <laughs> but we're told this is actually really good stuff. ABC's Tina Trend digs into this for us on Friday Friday. We all know we should be eating our vegetables every day, but there's got to be a better way than this. We're in the kitchen with the co-founders of Ortagi, Anthony and Matthew. Now you guys, you have this frozen sorbet made out of vegetables. I'm thinking this can't possibly taste good. Oh, Tina, <laughs> we have news for you. <laughs> Tastes good, it does. Tastes good, it does. We have some amazing blends of vegetables, some interesting combinations. How did you come up with this idea in the first place? One day we were coming home from a workout and we're mm -hmm. walking down the street and we're craving something. It's a warm day, we're craving something cold, kind of delicious. But you don't want to have ice cream after you work out. I do. <laughs> <laughs> this well, is that you do. won't. You won't anymore. We won't when we were saying, you know, why isn't there a healthy alternative to ice cream that you can have as a snack? And, you know, we looked around, we couldn't find one, and we said, you know what? We'll make it. All right, I got my spoon. I'm ready to taste. You have to start with my favorite. This is the beet. Beet, okay. This is beet. If you are a beet lover, you love that earthiness and that grounded flavor. This is so good. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Who knew beet would taste so good frozen? Frozen. frozen. That's awesome. Yeah. Yummy. What's next? Very different. This is our spinach kale. Spinach kale? Spinach kale. I'm only doing this because spinach and kale are good for you. Good for you, absolutely, absolutely. 30 calories. Oh, not bad. You can have an entire serving. It's very only. refreshing. So Matthew is going to actually use the carrot ginger. Okay. In an ice cream sandwich. We have these okay. cilantro spice cookies here. Cilantro spice cookies. Which goes amazing with the carrot ginger, actually. Okay. What do you think with like a regular oatmeal cookie? Would that work? Yeah, that'd be great. I mean, that's one of the great things about our product is it blends with so many different flavors. And you can really, you know, buy it at the grocery store and then take it home and do whatever you like. Mmm. What do you think, Tina? Oh, it's yummy, yummy, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> If you like that, you're gonna now try my personal favorite. This is our avocado. Yeah. This is our avocado. avocado. We've got the best organic avocados. We have some cucumber juice. Nice. To add a little okay. bit of, of, of zip and zest, we have some fresh lemon juice. Okay. And as we'd like to sprinkle in with some of the fresh herbs, some parsley. So we're gonna make another ice cream sandwich Yeah. Out of this? this time we're gonna use a ch chocolate mint cookie. And a Tell verdict. That's not amazing. No, it's good. Cheers to you. Thank you so much. That's so much fun. Delicious. Well, spinach and kale. You gonna try it? I don't know if that's supposed to be an ice cream for I, I think it? you should try it. Oh yeah, of course we will. Um, spinach and kale, we have what? Beet and something? Yep. Try it. What do you think? Good? It's a better way of getting your veggies, right? It doesn't taste like ice cream. It doesn't? It Carrot, exactly. mandarin, orange, and ginger. Okay, that sounds like ice creamy. It's not bad. Mm. Okay. Got a nice ginger kick to it. Okay, this does I'd taste like kale. I give these to like my kids. Definitely. Kale and spinach. It does taste. So it's just frozen kale and spinach. I'm not a big fan of <laughs> kale and spinach. But do you think you could get it this way? Um, no. See? I'll put the, put it in the pan. Put it in the pan and fry it up. Some oil and some butter. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty good. Good for the kids. Yeah, go for this then. Oh, okay. Thank you.